Hello YouTube, it's Johnny Deer here, and uh, this is going to be my first actual voiceover of artwork. Uh, right now I am doing line art, and this is the Halloween drawing for the year, if I'm going to make it yearly. Well, obviously Halloween comes once a year anyway, but I'm just talking about like if I'm going to do this on the channel. <clears throat> Also, I'm very sorry for the slow uploads, but, um, I just haven't been working on the speed paints. I'm very sorry, but, uh, I'm definitely trying to get this one done. Um, so what I was looking for with this drawing is, uh, a Batman theme. Not Batgirl, Batman. Hopefully that's obvious enough. Um, it's not really based on any of the Batmans, but I think the color scheme I was using was definitely uh, Adam West, as you will see later. Um, wow, so many ums. It's professional, right? <laughs> but uh, I was just picking that color scheme because I thought it would, would work best. Also, I have a terrible, terrible time shading grays and stuff. You'll probably see that later. And also, you can see my, my preview just a tad there. So, yeah. Um, uh, I'm flipping the image a lot to see how the proportions look on the other side. And at this point, I thought she was a little too tall. I think this is a point. Or, there's this... I, I shrunk her leg a little bit because I didn't like how long it is. And I also spent maybe a good like five minutes trying to position that arm so it looked proportionate to the other one. I don't know why I decided to do those arms. Maybe because I didn't want to. I don't want to deal with those uh, proportions. And I'm not very good at. I also shortened down the wings. One because I wanted her to look a little different, and um, it, it, she's shorter. And she's definitely shorter than Batman. Batman is usually like six foot three. And now I'm on to the coloring stage. I opened a really dumb photo for the reference for her colors. You think by now I'd get her colors straight on since I draw her so many times? No, no, I, I still need a reference. I don't need a reference to draw her, but color her, yeah. I was, I spent like a little bit trying to figure out if I wanted to have the, the wings a different color. I didn't go with that. Also, I tried to make her still look kind of like a um, sweetheart even though she's in this like Batman costume because I thought it was kind of funny but I kept the uh, white eyes that Batman usually has which I have no idea how those actually even work sometimes Batman has eyeliner isn't that weird <laughs> I know I am coloring her her muzzle her old face down there. I almost forgot that, along with the hair. I don't know how. Literally, like, the freaking face I forgot. And I struggled a little bit trying to pick a nice color for shading. I was gonna go with this blue, it looks like, but I changed it in the end. And I was trying something different when I was shading it. I actually took um, the colors out, which you'll see soon, to actually see true colors of the shading because I use a like a special style layer where the background is not background the, the layer makes everything shaded with that color and I don't know no matter what I was doing until like maybe the very end it was just looking too blotchy like I don't know how to explain it I just didn't like it. You gotta see it. I'm just trying to experiment with the other layer, layer styles, see if anything does happen. 
I do really like this picture though. I'm so happy on how this one turned out. I just, I like the pose, I like the proportions, I like um, how cute it is. I want it remaining Batman like. And um, it's just a really nice picture. It's everywhere right now, actually, on all my profiles, so yeah, I like it. I mean, if I didn't like it, that'd be pretty sad, wouldn't it? Would be. I don't even know how nice his audio quality is. I could make it better, but... Mm. Rock and Mike and laziness. I'm wanting to get this bait and paint up. Right now, I'm working on some highlights and the hair. I don't know how to explain that. I haven't done that type of hair in a while. Cause sometimes I can't quite get it right. But, um, it looks fine. So, uh, okay. more experimenting with layer styles. I think I went with the uh, overlay, but I can't remember. I'm kind of watching it from afar. It's, yeah. And then I opened it up on my other program to get a background on it. Which I actually like the background. It's not really a moon or anything. I was just kind of messing around. And also I, I realized that I didn't get some pixels and I was like, ew, that looks so bad. So I had to go back and fill those in. Which was annoying. It was really annoying to go fill those back in. <laughs> I'm impatient. Don't judge me. But um, I'm glad I did though. I would have definitely ruined parts of the image if I didn't go back and try to fill them back in. <clears throat> so um, now I'm making a circle. I don't know if it was a moon or something. I just thought it would look cool. I'm adding some like brush details to it, adding some stuff to the background, and then I blurred the edge of the moon. Um, and right here I was adding some highlights to the line art so it didn't just so everything wasn't so one-sided with it I don't know how to explain it but I really like that I did that it just made the picture look all so much better and also hey thank you for watching my video if you did end up watching it all the way through I got the idea from like the idea for voicing over my videos from Lavender Town. She is such an amazing uh, speed tank artist, by the way. You should definitely watch that person and not me. She already has so many more subscribers than me, so why does it matter? Don't judge me. But still, I, I do appreciate anybody watching my videos. I hope um, the voiceover definitely helps with um, how boring these can be. So, uh, Thank you, happy Halloween, and have a good day.